Hello, my name is Mateo Vasquez, and today I'll be taking you through the wonderful world of IT. Today's topic is... The topic today is an intranet, intranets, and extranets. Now, these are not the same, though they are very much related. Also, they're all useful in their own right. That's about all I really have to begin with. Let's dive in. The Internet. Is the Internet the interwebs, the cat place that lives on in our imaginations and is a physical line of database? No, actually, the Internet is the Internet. Um, not really too much to say here. I did a whole video on how the Internet actually works. I think it was okay. Um, yeah, I'd suggest watching that if you're interested in the Internet. In fact, I'm pretty sure there's also a whole bunch of other people around in this group that also did internet stuff. We covered it pretty thoroughly. Um, what more can I say about it than it's the giant, giant connection of networks and pipelines and everything that runs on HTTP and HTTPS and, um, well, it's the internet. But that's not what we're here for. We're not here for the internet. We're here for intranets. Intranets are networks set up within companies and anything like that that run off internet protocols, uh, HTTP, HTTPS, but are private and secured within basically the company. In fact, an intranet is within a company meant to link all the computers there together in their own private internet. Kind of like a LAN, in, if you will, a local area network. Basically, PC, uh, from this example, PCPT6PC is linked to PCPT4PC, which is linked to the Switch Ultima, which links to the PCP4PC over here. Basically, all this stuff, and it works off internet connection. over there. The idea is that while well, working together and communicating and allowing us to collaborate and being able to just in general function as a kind of family company or at least being able to talk or know each other well enough or actually know your data as each other well enough your internet protocols and use company websites well enough to be able to access the certain things. But basically you're able to find what you need to find without the issue of having too much to find a way of removing that e problem of teleworking I said uh, in the other video of just too much time off task. Basically that's what an internet does. Disadvantages. Well, it still can have problems like this. This is more than internet issue, but if an internet is poorly designed or links too well to the actual internet, Facebook forever's and ever and ever and ever. Oh, um, did, did, did you want that document? I'm sorry, I didn't hear about that. Um, I'll do I'll do that as soon as I'm done with this YouTube video. You see the problem? The other issue is security. How safe is your computer? Real question. How safe is your internet connection? If anyone gets into one computer on the internet and they're all given equal access opportunities. Okay, there went all our company secrets, and our trademarks, and our, yeah. We kind of got screwed there. Basically, the big problems of intranets is they don't always solve the time on task issue, and they can be unsecure if something goes wrong. One terminal to access in them all. 
one terminal to bind them. One terminal to... Okay, okay, you get it. One terminal can give entire access to anything else out there. Now, to the extranets. Okay, there's a few definitions about extranets, what they actually are. Basically, it's linking a few things together. I like to think of it this way. Intranet, 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 intranet. Well, let's put them all together and make an extranet. Basically, it's a bunch of intranets linked between extra nets. And in general, it has the same issues, problems, advantages, and disadvantages of a regular intranet. It's just now between companies, so everything gets magnified. Well, these are my references. Okay. Um, that's about it. Bye. Well, that's all about all I've got to say for now. So, until next time. Bye.